Hello guys and welcome to Sisters Are Doing It For Themselves LGT edition. So this is going to be filmed the week before LGT. So this is this is where I've decided that I'm going to be taking Sisters and it's going to be released next week for you guys to have a look at. Um, so yeah, I was torn between Black Table Horde and Sisters. I went for the Sisters in the end. They're very strong. Everyone knows that. Like we're, we're going to be using the Sister Bringers of Flame. We're going to paint them orange to make it sound like it's fluffy. Um, we're going to totally be doing that stuff. Um, so yeah, in this video, I'm basically going to go through the detachment, the rules, stratagems, um, and the way I think that I'm going to be using the list. Um, and yeah, so let's, uh, without further ado, let's get moving. So, Sister Battlebringers of Flame. Uh, so yeah, one of the, I think the strongest builds of Sisters that are out there at the moment. I think a lot of people have come to that consensus. There are other builds, and the other builds are also very strong. Uh, but I think this, I think they are probably one of the most the probably the strongest um you know build that they have there's lots of etc lists that used it for the speed um for its speed and it's aggressively cost units uh because you've seen a lot you saw loads of sisters of um sister battle there bring us a flame they were fantastic um there's a few builds a few different ways to build this list pretty cool um we're, but the core is mostly similar so you get your three castigators you'll have your two or three layers your dominion squad your seraphim all that sort of stuff and then the detachment rule and strats make this detachment mental, which is true. Um, so it's mainly the detachment rule here uh, rather than the strats. The strats are good um, and have some cool uh, you know, abilities. The armor contempt is fantastic. Um, but it is mainly the detachment rule here and the interaction of fate, uh, miracle dice, and how many you get and all that good stuff. So the detachment rule. Uh, the detachment rule is as follows. Ranged weapons equipped by Adeptus Sororitus, Sororitus models from your army have the assault ability, and each time an attack is made with such a weapon within 12 inches, add one to its strength characteristic. So this gets a bit crazy. Uh, so you'll have strength te you'll have strength 10 melters, strength 10 multi-melters, you'll have strength 4 hand flamers, maybe even strength 5, you've got the cannon in there and all that sort of good stuff. Um, and the reason why this is bonkers is the potential movement is crazy. Like as I've written there, like 17 inch move castigators that you fight really aggressively on flanks and their range can let you see down like entire lines of the board and it's fantastic. Seraphim also moving 21 inches and uh, moving six inches afterwards is also fantastic. Obviously all of this sort of stuff to do automatically requires miracle dice, but you can plan for this sort of stuff to happen and it's pretty fantastic. So yeah, that's the detachment rule and that's what that does. Enhancements. So there's a few good ones here. Um, so we'll go through them. Righteous Rage. This comes in at 10 points. So Death Sorrow's model. Each time the bearer selects to fight, discard three Miracle Dice. For each Miracle Dice discarded until the end of the phase, add one to the attacks, strength, uh, attacks and strength characteristic of the bearer's melee weapons. This is good. It's fine. Um, for 10 points, you can't complain. You might have some like ones and twos in there that you might want to get rid of. But you want to. Be, I, I, I think that you. it's very rare that you want to get rid of dice now the only ones that really don't do anything to it for you is like you know probably ones and potentially two sometimes and the amount that you're rolling you're probably not going to have up to three miracle dice to use and then the depth of characters that you're going to be throwing in there probably won't really need that um because you don't really want to get into combat with this attachment it's just more shooty um in my opinion so yeah i think it's i think it's good i think it's flavorful i think there's there's a build out there that they can make that guy work okay we're going to go on to the manual of saint griselda uh a depth of model only at the start of your command phase, just go, just go up to two Miracle Dice, then add the two mir add uh, one Miracle Dice to your Miracle Dice pool, equal to the value of the sum of the two Miracle Dice. This is pretty good. Like, <coughs> I'm, pr I'm a big fan of this. Uh, you can put, the, you, can, you know, you can use a, a four and a two together, get yourself a six, you can get that sustained and lethal on a retribute unit or whatever, and all that sort of stuff. Like, there's lots of different interactions you can do here. So I quite like it. Um, but you find that everything's so cheap, it's hard to find 15 points at the end of the day, <laughs> but they are very, very good. But that, that is very good and can be used in certain situations. Fire and Fury. Fire and Fury is one that you're going to see in pretty much every army, I think. <coughs> so we have uh, while the bearer is leading unit, add one to the attacks characteristic of torrent weapons equipped by models in that unit. All other ranged weapons in the model has sustained one ability this comes in at 20 points um this is crazy on a couple of things so i like it on a palatine for lethal and sustained on a retribute unit so that means you can jump out um 18 inches from a transport with an auto advance six and if it's within range of the saint catherine and then fire eight mortal melters with uh sustained and lethal which is really good and their overwatch is crazy because they've still got the sustained lethal on the overwatch and can use dice there. So I quite like Fire and Fury on the Palatine, but also you can put it on 
a cannon S for the uh, for, to get the extra plus one uh, attack characters on the torrent weapons, and then activate the Dev Wing Strap for free, which is quite a common use for them as well. So both are strong, both are completely viable, um, but I think it's down to what sort of what your play style and what you want to be doing with those units at the time. And finally, the Iron Splice of Saint Estelia. So cannon S or Palatine are lonely. The Vega's a two up save and a feel of pain five plus. Like that's solid. It's five points. Five points for that. I kind of complain about. If I have a list that come out, comes out to 1995, then, you know, why not, right? So those are the enhancements, guys. Let's move on to the next one. And the stratagems. There's uh, six stratagems, as usual. So we have the Shield of Aversion. Shooting or fight phase, one of the Sororish unit. Until the end of the phase, each time an attack of the target's unit, worse than the arm penetration of that attack by one. So this is basically the old school Armour Contempt. Well, not really, I would say old school. It's just Armour Contempt. Um, so this is pretty good in any situation, really. Um, you can get tanks, which we can use. This also interacts with Miracle Dice quite well. So if you're Armour Contempt, uh, a vehicle you can cover against AP3, that goes down to AP1, and then, so it goes down to AP2, and then cover makes it, AP, makes it AP1, so you've got four up saves. And suddenly with those Miracle Dice, you can use fours instead of sixes to try and save those AP3 big attacks. So this can be quite useful, um, and I quite like it. Um, Righteous Blows, this is a fight phase one. So this is your fight phase one, is actually Sorotis, Sorotis unit that hasn't fought yet this phase. Until so the end of the phase, melee weapons equipped by your models in the hit by your models in the unit have lethal hits. If one or more enemy models are destroyed as a result but made by those weapons, uh, then they take about a shock check. That's fine. That's pretty good. Uh, sorry guys, I have a cold. Um, so they take a battle shock check. This this is good, situational but also good. I think if you take some more combat units in your list, uh, this can be used to some of it, so, so yeah, to some ability here. Um, but in the current builds that you find, we won't find that righteous blows will be used too much. Um, next, carry forth the faithful. I like this one. This one's pretty cool. So movement phase just before adeptus sororis units, adeptus sororis transport has advanced. So then another turn, you can reroll advances made by your transport, and the unit can disembark from the transport even though it's advanced. This also includes a miracle dice. Units that uh, do so also count as having to make a normal move and cannot declare a charge this turn. So basically, they get out. They, they can get out in advance. They can get out after a vehicle's advanced, but they can't charge, which is fine. So this means that you can move like an Himalaya, uh, twelve plus six plus like twenty-one, I think. Yeah, twenty-one, and then disembark the unit with a miracle if you use the six on a miracle dice, um, and then disembark the unit and shoot. That's pretty metal. It's pretty good. Do the same with something like a Rhino um, with retributes and stuff like that, which is really really cool. Um, and you and it says units, so you can do it on like two units of retributes that both get out, which is pretty cool. So it gives them a very, very high threat range from certain areas. Next is cleansing flame shooting phase. Uh, one of the unit that hasn't been selected to shoot yet this phase until the end of this phase. Torrent weapons by your models and unit have to have same wings. I touched on this briefly earlier with the cannon S using this for free. It's pretty good, like with the cannon S unit using not like you know the 96 because she has a hand flamer herself plus um nine. Uh, averages out to about 40 odd hits and with devastating wounds they do more they can get the real ones to wound from the triumph as well to try and get more of the devs this they almost they pretty much half kill um, one of the big like one of the baby knights or maybe even more so there's lots of potential to spike here next is rites of fire shooting phase one of the devs sorry unit from your army that's disembarked from transport this turn and has not been selected to shoot yet this phase until the end of the phase each model in your unit with a, makes a ranged attack. Uh, make, yeah. Each time a model in your unit makes a ranged attack that targets an enemy unit within 12 inches, uh, that is also within range of an objective marker and onto the wound roll. Uh, if one or more enemy models are destroyed as a result of those attacks, select one of those destroyed models. That destroyed model's unit must take a battle shock check. Also very strong. So this is this got a couple of um prerequisites so. so you have to get out of a transport this turn and you have to be shooting a model objective and you have to be within 12 but that's kind of what we do here with this this is it brings a flame right this strat's really good it's great on melters makes them more reliable um you can also use this strat and then use miracle dice to, your lower miracle dice to cycle them out like with retributes let's say so if they hit shooting or something like strike sit the to toughness six and they get to plus one to wound they can then use the twos to wound and then recycle them um which is well one two to wound uh, and then recycle it, and that's pretty cool. And the battle shock execute because it means that it can last till the next turn if they fight on death or have any stress in the fight phase or, or anything like that. Oh, uh, a blazing ire. And this is your shooting phase. Just after an enemy unit is shot, one of the storage transport units that, is, uh, that was selected as target of one or more of the attacking units attacks. Um, one unit 
embarked within your transport can disembark as if it were the movement phase and then can shoot as if it were your shooting phase. But you must target only that enemy unit when doing so and can only do so if that enemy unit is an eligible target. So uh, you've seen this before, I think, in probably the Firestorm detachment where you get shot, the transport gets shot, you can disembark and shoot back at the target. So this is great with a like you know a retributors shoot at a rhino if you're within 18 you might get shot by some retributors back which is fun if you shoot an Himalaya, you get shot by dominions all that good sort of good stuff so that is uh, situational but also very useful because it also means you can disembark units in your opponent's turn which could mean that you can flip objectives and get extra primary and all that sort of good stuff so it's also something to bear in mind key units so i've just covered the units that jump to mind here so if a cannon s would jump pack castigators um, Seraphim, Immolators, Dominion Squad, and St. Catherine. Candice with Jump Pack is great because she gives the plus one strength to the Hand Flamers and she gives uh, the free strap. Um, and she's just, she's not bad in combat once again. She has the go crazy, uh, get, get some dev wins, which you can also drop a Miracle Dice in there if you have to here and there. Castigates, I feel like three of them are your staple, two of them with auto cannons and one of them with battle cannon because they're just so, so good. So many shots. Um, the auto cannons are so reliable. And giving the extra plus one AP on the Flamers or uh, other, whatever you need it on is also fantastic. Then we have Seraphim. I feel like Seraphim are just so good. Um, like it, they 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 move. They, they have the move. They move shoot moves. So you can do the like uh, interactive play sort of levels. Um, they can move really far. They can produce. They can produce a lot of dis. They can close a lot of distance between them and the target. So they can push around angles and get, get you points and all that sort of thing. Um, Immolators, they're probably one of the best like, transports in the game right now. <laughs> like uh, they have a multi melter, they have a heavy bolt, they have a hunter killer. Um, they can, they have all the strats that they need in the bringers of flame to really be an effective transport. Uh, and they get the scout move if the dominions go in. So they are very fantastic. And then we're going to go on to dominion squads. So dominion squads, they have I normally take two units of them, maybe three in some lists, um, but they are fantastic. Having emulators that can scout move and then move is fantastic um especially if you go first you can play some you, can make, you could play some aggressive plays if you wanted to um and yeah they're great and dominions are great because they just have a scout move in general so they can scout move on to some objectives in some maps and then give you some extra roles for uh, them controlling an objective at the start of the uh, clan phase which is also great um then we have saint catherine this has all the buffs so the main buff that she gives out is the plus two move plus one advance and then some real ones to wound or two acts of faith a turn those are the top ones that i can think of there are probably more drop in the comments below if i've missed one that you think is incredible um but the two acts of faith is great so it means if she's in the correct position um getting shot by if you're getting shot by stuff they can use two save rolls or if you're in shooting at stuff they like with melters and all that sort of good stuff you could like on a retribute squad you could put two sixes in and then they could both recycle the dice out um which is really fun um and uh yeah so that, that she's fantastic for that um and her buffs are undeniable and she's not easy to kill uh, she's got a load of wounds uh, a load of attacks and uh yeah she's very very good for points okay let's get on to the lists so the list for my current L my current lgt list is a cannon s with the iron surplus for that sweet two of seven five of fame it's only five points so squeeze it in another cannon s uh action monkey where i can go into the um uh the uh dominion squad when you need to two dialogues is also action monkeys but also can go into the dial also can go into the dominion squad if it's like a stat check sort of matchup where you need to kill some more tanks and then triumph saint catherine as mentioned earlier she is incredible and then we have two emulators more than that to killer uh they're they're great as i mentioned earlier why they're, why they're so incredible um three castigators staple of most lists i think you'll find with um uh, over the weekend lgt two dominion squads uh four melt guns which come to gun and a power weapon uh these guys do the scout move they have melt guns they can do damage that's great and then two exists the exists are great for the indirect i was put onto them a bit last minute but <laughs> but the uh, exists are very very good the indirect can means you can pop rhinos can you can pop key assets and also makes people have to come out at you which is what you want for sisters so you can shoot them with your entire army and then two units of 10 seraphim with eight hand flamers and uh yeah that's what we've discovered those do they have the devastating wound strat that they can have access to they basically get to fire and fade it's uh, it's pretty good and um yeah that's my entire list i think this list has uh, a bit more action a, bit, a few more action pieces than i thought uh, than like i thought i would have and have the damage that i would have as well dialogues is great for that 
um, because they can just both go into track reserve uh, and you can still, uh, you know, reduce um, um, uh, Miracle Dice with the Dialogus. And yeah, I think I'm quite happy with the list. I'm hoping that it'll do well over the weekend. Um, and we'll have to see what else everyone sort of throws at me. I think there's a couple of matchups that can be a bit tough. So I'm effectively going to try and um, win a few games with it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed my little sister's um, you know, rant. And uh, yeah, and wish me luck. Hopefully I'll, uh, hopefully I'll be able to win a few games over the weekend and I will do a rundown of how the event went afterwards. Stay tuned for that. Thank you very much, guys. And uh, have a good one.